Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you can see by this little lot, it's that time again. Uh, the um, donations and purchases for this, or um, for, uh, for, April, for April, yeah. You can get much right there. Yeah, so I've got a few bits and pieces here. Um, got stuff from a toy fair I went to recently. Um, a donation there. I uh, got box stuff from my friend Debbie and stuff I bought from a, a bus event I went to recently over at Brooklands and stuff from eBay there. Yeah, so um, I'll just get my camera back on the bench and uh, we'll make a start on it. Alright, see you in a moment. Right, okay, here we go then. Right, I'm going to do stuff from the toy fair first, which was at Kempton Park last weekend. Uh, bit of quite a few bits and pieces here for myself, and one or two bits I bought for a friend. So I'm, I'm going to start off with my star by. It's quite a big one too, so I'm going to stand out for this one. I'm going to hold the camera back a little bit, so you can see this beauty. Just down the way. Oops. There you go. That's my first one. Yeah, that's a corgi. Uh, Formula One car, John Player Special. Um, yeah, there you go, John Player Special. Yeah, yeah, it's all there. It's all complete. Just in a play worn condition, and amazingly, um, I only paid a pound for this. Yep, I kid you not. I paid a pound for it. Now I bought this for my friend Andy. Uh, Andy's garage, who likes his seat, single seaters. Yeah, so this one's going off to him. Yeah, he's already seen a picture of it, so he's very pleased with it. So that's my first. One. That's the first one. Yep. There you go. Yep. Driver as well. Yep. So I say that's my first one. Oh, I'll just get him out of the way and put the camera back on the stand. Uh, right. right. I've got some Corgi classics which I like collecting. I'll just get a few of these out to start off with. Yeah, ignore the prices on them. Right. So, the first of these I've got. <coughs> Oops, easy. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure what it says. Something foreign, probably French maybe. M Bill or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, do excuse me. Apologies for that. Oh, yeah. As I was saying, yes. Uh, I think it's a Renault. There's a, a sort of shape on the front there. It's got broken glass on it as well, I didn't see that before. Yeah, so that's that one. Uh, next one, quite a weighty one, it's quite heavy. Yeah, a shell tanker. Yeah, just corgi on it on again. Good condition, it's all there. Yeah. So I do like collecting these old classics, commercial stuff. Uh, next one, yeah, good old Ian Perrins, Mr. Schultz. Yeah, another Corgi classic. Yeah, nice example there. Yeah, another good one. And then we've got Belle Morrill, Her Majesty the Queen's 40th anniversary. Yes, uh, God rest her now. Bit of advertising it is. Yeah, anniversary truck. Yeah. Got some more here somewhere. All these old classics. Uh, 
Bobby. That is the other star buy that I got, which I'm quite proud of. Oh, yeah, get it in place. There you go. Get out your BP tanker. Um, Scammel, I think it is. Oops. Yeah, it's a Scammel, yeah. Scammel tanker there. Right, let's go get it all in there. Yep, there you go. Nice one. Uh, we've got uh, Purcell, Purcell, your, your washing powder. There you go. Must be a bit of a clean up, but otherwise, all right. All good. And we've got Bachelor's Peas. Yeah, Bachelor's and Co. Sheffield. I mean, don't get fully coughed. I'm not too sure to make that one. Yeah, but let's have a nice one. And we've got another tanker here, another quite weighty, heavy one. Red line Glico or Glyco. Top Gear Spirit or Doncaster. Weighty beast there. And we got a matchbox yesteryear. A nineteen twenty Ford TT van, I think is what it says. Yeah, Dram Bui, your uh your liqueur. Yeah, that's that one. Right, what else we got in here? Uh, and the stuff. Oh, uh, let's get these out. Hold on, bear with me. Right, these next three I also got from my friend Andy. Yep, uh, smaller scale version of the uh, single seat I showed you earlier. John Player Special F1, Corgi. Good wheels on it. Yeah, just need to tidy up. Yeah, so that big off to meet like Andy. Uh, also I got for him this little single seater, which is a Corgi Whiz Wheels Certes TS9 F1. You know, number 16, Book Bon Oxo, Rob, Rob Walker. Yeah, again, good good wheels on that too. Hard to use. Right, next one I've got from Andy. This is weighty little beast here. And it's a Corgi Major International Truck. Yeah, the US Army. Big old beast there. Okay. Right, let's, let's have a drink. Can we float? Right. Um, oh, another star buy I got. I've got back this one actually. Yeah, a little. Uh, Good old Ford Transit there, Seacoo. You know, it looks like a camper minibus thing. Yeah, I've got even extra windows on the roof as well. That's what I liked about it. That's what caught my attention. I quite like this one, so I'm going to keep this one as it is. Yeah, a bit of a rarity. Got an open door that side. And passenger door this side too. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I do like one very much. Yeah, I'm gonna keep one as it as it is. And what else we've got? Uh 
Uh, Matchbox Super Kings Jaguar XJ XJ6. Yeah, got a few of these before. Yeah. Better condition. Okay. Um, what else we got? Yeah, another Jaguar Racing One. Yeah, XJ6. Hmm. Yeah. Got front lights missing off it. Broken bumper. And back lights missing as well. That's that. Right. Uh, got Matchbox Super Kings, Volvo. Oh, let's give you one second. Oh dear. Excuse me. All right. Uh, yeah. K74 Volvo Estate. Yeah, play warm. Yeah. What's that? Got yeah, cool guitars, Rolls Royce, Corniche, a nice blue colour. That's all there. There you go. And what else we got? Got a little another Jago here. Uh, it's a Universal Hobbies Jaguar Daimler, 1 to 43 scale. Yeah, not not in one of these before. Not, not his scale in, it, in his shape anyway. Yeah. Good car there, good one there. Uh, what else? Got one here back top of it. Here. Here Oh, this one here, yes, it's, it's a nice one that I've spotted. Yeah, the old Lotus. Lotus Elite. Now, I've not seen these in this colour, this sort of metallic yellow, lemon, lemon yellow colour, if you want to call it that. It's near enough the same colour as the, uh, the Jaguar X-Ray 12C, the ultra rare ones that do in this colour. It's near enough the same colour as that it is, if not the same. Yeah, that's what caught my attention. So I'm not I've seen them in other colours like black in the J Pistol livery and that's sort of like a metallic green colour. But as I say, I've not seen one in this colour before. So it's a bit of rarity that. So I'm gonna keep hold of that one too. The wheels need tidying up, a bit faded, colour faded there. But I'm soon do something about that. Uh, and the last one from the toy fair. Yeah, it's old relic, but it's more this old there though. Is that? <laughs> and it is a, a 1926 Ford Model T, the old Tin Lizzy. Well, I say it's all there, but I think the body's missing. If it ever had one, of course. I don't know. Who is it made by? Ford Motor Trademarks. Um, yeah, opening doors on it. Yeah, that's a nice little model there. Yeah, so that go on display with all the other classics. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Right, so that's the stuff in the toy there done. Uh, next lot came is from a uh, vintage and classic bus event I went to two weeks ago over at Brooklands. Yeah, the famous motor racing circuit from many, many years ago. Yeah, they had a classic bus event there, some trade stands, selling all sorts of stuff. So the first one I got from there, there we go, and this is a C.H. Gervais Fromage. And it's a Renault, 1000 kilogram, and that's it. Yeah, no opening doors on it. 
definitely French fromage fray, yep. Oh, it's got a tire missing. I didn't spot that before. But hey ho, never mind. Nice little model there. Anyway. Oh, excuse me one second. Excuse me one second. Get back in a moment. Apologies for that. Right, so that's what I got. The old Corgi London taxi. Yeah, it's seen me do these before. There's quite a few of these. Yeah. That's it. Uh, I've got, got quite a bit of vintage stuff, yesteryear stuff there. Let's get these all out. This one here, Acorn Storage Company, and it's a yesteryear 1920 Mack truck, so obviously American. Yep, left hand drive. Yep, yeah, where else? 48 Street, Manhattan. Yeah, that's that, that's a nice one. Uh, we've got a steam wagon here. Tate and Lyle, Low Sugar, Peas and Sun of Wandsworth, and it's a. I uh, can't see that one there. Something Steam Wagon C Type, I think it says. Something like that. So, a C Type. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we are. 1922 Foden C Type Steam Wagon. There you go. Oh, we just need a clean up, really. A little bit dusty here and there. Give it a clean up, you're alright. Go straight on the shelf. Uh, good old Pickford's removal company. Another Foden Steam Wagon. Yeah, same model as the other one, just showing you, but just different company on it. Good old Pickford, we're known removal business. Another yeah, steam wagon here, and that's Spillers, cattle, pig, and poultry foods. You know, Spillers foods, I'd imagine. Same thing again, food and steam wagon. So that's three in a row for you. And last one, and the last one from the uh, event was. It's Oxo van. Uh, it's a yeah, Ford Model A. We did Model T, this is Model A, the, the van version. There you go. So that's stuff from the uh, bus event. Right, next stop is from my good friend Debbie. It always gives me stuff. Yeah, this time I've got a collection of um, interesting bits and pieces here. Right, so starting with this, a good old tractor, it's got a wheel missing. Yeah, nice little project there to work on. Good old harness. I think it's a three point harness I put on the back of these, something like that. Yeah, corgi toys. Obviously, it's got a wheel missing, but. Hey ho, something to work on. Uh, another, another taxi, Corgi one again. Same like the other one, yeah, similar condition. Uh, I've got 
this little beauty here. He's got, he's got a grill missing and a headlight missing. And it's a Solido. Solido. Rolls Royce Phantom 3, 1939. Uh, it's got a broken bump on the back there. So I don't think it's spare for this or not. I'll look around. I'll look at this one completed. So it's something to work on. Uh, we've got a yesteryear, a bit dirty, tyres missing, broken window there. Again, it's a little project to work on. Dinky toys, Moyes Oxford, the wheels are buckled. But like I say, it's a nice little project to work on. This is, you know, get that, get that looking straight again. And we've got this little thing here. Needs a lot of work done to it. Uh, Corgi Toys Jeep, FC150. Yeah, it needs a lot of work done to it. Uh, it's got something, used to be something there. Now I've got a funny feeling, unless I'm totally wrong of course, please feel free to correct me on this, but I've got a funny feeling it might be the conveyor belt one. But I'm not 100% sure on that. So if I'm wrong, please do correct me. But that's what I'm thinking myself anyway. That's that. And we got. <coughs> Excuse, me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm in the walls today. Right, so got a. Oh, another Salido. A Renault Maxi 5 Turbo rally car. Now that's strange. It's a Renault, but it says Opal, which is part of Oxford GM Group. Interesting. Got headlight missing. I've done a corgi version of this, where I transformed it from a rally car to a street racer. I might do something similar to, with this one too. I don't know yet. Yeah, strange one that Renault and Opal. Yeah. Uh, then we got what else? We got there we are. Yeah, little two CV there uh, from Dinky Toys, two CV six. Yeah, I might change the colour on this one as well. I'm not too sure about little ducks though, but definitely colour change. That's for sure. Probably it's like a pastel blue or something like that. Something a bit more, um, more subtle. I don't know, you know what I mean. Uh, what else we got? Got this Porsche. Uh, it's a pullback, which just about works. And it's by... It's a Porsche 911 Speedster. Can't quite make out the badge on that. No, don't know. Looks like a metallic sort of colour. So I might do something with this. I might, I might do the same colour again to tidy it up. So I think it's nearly the same colour as, as a Jimmy Herbie VW a while back. It looks very similar to it. So if that's the case, I might do the same colour. Yeah, we could want to do. Just one more from Debbie. Cool blimey. And it's a VW Beetle. And it's from, who were? Gamma, Gamma Toys, Gamma, a Gamma Mini VW, 1302, West Germany. And I'm not too sure what's going on the wheels here. It's a, got long axles on them, but I don't know why that is, what's going on there. 
but it might be worth having a go at. That light's are missing, there's no paint on it, but hardly any paint on it. Got like a custom front end there about the bumper. Yeah, some VWs are like that when you customise them. Twin inks all set at the back there. Yeah, so that's something to work on, yeah, definitely. Right, so that's Debbie's lot, so thank you very much for those. Very much gauge you once again. Yep, do it on. Uh -oh. I missed anything. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, no, hold on. Bear with I missed one. I do apologise. I missed one. This one. The old um, Avelyn Barford. Yeah, road roller. Now, sadly, the poor drive has been decapitated. <laughs> so he's going nowhere. So, um... Yeah, there's no one, no one to work on. Yeah, your steam works on the front here. Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. Looks like it's starting to work, work on these. Yeah, I'm gonna go do this one. Definitely put in my little project box I've got for this year. Right, so that's definitely last sight there from Debbie. So thank, thank you very much for getting one for those. Much appreciated. Uh, next up is me, mate. A few bits this, this time. I'll start with this one. Your Schroling Road Sweeper from CQ Toys, West Germany. Yeah, body tips up, door opens. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do they call his donkey engine? Oh god, we done these recently. Well work. Um, hydrostat, hydrostatic. It means no engine in it. Now, interestingly, the company that I work for, which is Buka Municipal, uh, took over this Schroding company about ten to twelve years ago. So hence became Buka Schroding. Based in West Germany. Yeah, so we own this company here. Yeah, so a nice little bit of info there. Yeah, I think it's all there. Well, apart from a broken light there, I suppose. But other than that, looks all right. So I'm going to go with my other collection of road sweepers. Uh, yeah. Another good old Jag, XJ12C police car. It's got lights missing, but as you think about it, I don't know yet. I mean, two mines to keep this one for one of the DMs or next month's DMC challenge. I don't know yet. So I've got one car kept by for it. I mean, two mines. I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh, my favourite casting. There you go. Your old dinky Cadillac Superior Ambulance. Cadillac chassis. Uh, this is the, uh, the first one. Or the earlier type. It's got the hole for the battery. Screw base, which is what I like on these. Uh, it's got the larger light on top there, which is missing obviously. Back door missing again, which is quite common on these for the ones I've been getting. So I rarely get all of these with a door on the back, but it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, so I, I do like these castings. Oh, the rubber tyres are well, the only model. The later ones had solid tyres and the base completely solid. Like I say, this is the earlier one. So I do like these castings and models. Yeah, I do like doing things with these. Uh, what else we got? Yep, Corgi Toys Buick Regal Police Car. Um, I'm actually in the middle of doing one of these. Yeah, just a little, a little what I'm doing off camera at the moment. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a little candidate here. No bumpers on the front there. Broken bumps at the back. 
open lights, cracked glass, stickers all torn off. Yeah, so that's a good one. Uh, right, I've got one of these, another one of these. It will be in WM1. The reason why I've got this is because I've got one at the moment which I want to restore or, or colour change. So I've got so either this one or my other one can be like a donor vehicle or make one good one out of two. Yeah, so that's my plans for this or the other one. That's why I got this one. So that's that. And got one of these, the old Fiat Corgi Toys X19. Yeah, the stickers missing on the back front there. Yeah, engine in the back there. Yeah, I'll we'll get around to doing one of these one day. There's a bit of a novelty. Uh, right, last one for me, Pete. Yes, again. Oh no, not quite. Hold on, not one more to go. Another taxi. So that's what I've got. <sighs> yeah, doors open. Yeah, playable condition, not too bad. Yeah, so there's no one to do. And finally, for me, mate, got this little beauty. It's only a small, but and it is a Ford Cortina Mark II. Yeah. Lesney, Matchbox Lesney series, yeah. yeah. I know it's only small, but I've been after one of these for ages. Yeah, so I finally got hold of one. So uh, it's probably be a colour change as well, just to tidy it up. Yeah, super, good stuff. So that's all my eBay stuff. Right, well, I've got a donation now from my good friend Andy, Andy Ball at Andy's Garage. He sent me a few bits and pieces again, and I've seen stuff as well. So starting with this day is gone in this box, where it's staying. Uh, it's a 1950 Bedford Weetabix truck. Yeah, nice, nice little design for that. I've got on the shelf. All the other ones I've got. Yeah. That. And I've got a little small Arctic here, Bedford, Bedford TK Arctic, Davis tyres, Lesney model again. Yeah, too bad condition. I've got a couple of these already, but I think it's, it's a bit, the better one of these three I've got now. So that, that comes off shelf again. So that's that. Um, here we are, good old Eddie Stobart, yeah, another one for my collection. Yeah, I was talking to a friend earlier on about these, about my collection that I had. You know, I was telling him that um, I had quite a few of these Eddie Stobart models, not particularly a bit this sort, but the larger scale ones. And I had so many that I downsized my collection twice, because I literally went out of room in my bedroom for any more models. So, like I said, I've got a few left, but I've kept hold of some of the larger corgi ones, all the special rare ones. Um, I think I may have one or two of these already. Maybe not. I don't know. I haven't seen them. No. Right, so, yeah, like I said, add that to my collection. Uh, we've got. Another Lido days gone. Weetabix truck this time. Made in England. Yeah. yeah I'm not going to do anything to this. You can go straight on the shelf if it can. You have all my other commercial vehicles I've got. Um, don't sure what it's based on. But yeah, that's another nice one. And we got. 
Yeah, Opal Centre, Corgi Toys, Crack Windows, Play One Condition. It's all there. Just Play One Condition, that's all. So that's no one I can do. Opal Senator. Yep. And got one of these. This is the Dinky Toys uh, Superior Ambulance on Kellat Chassis. Yeah, the smaller version. We also do a Criterion Ambulance as well. So you've got this one. You've got this one as well. And as I say, you've got the Criterion Ambulance as well. So there's three of them on Calais chassis. Yeah, so light's missing. So big hole there for the battery. Tires miss on the front there. Yeah, so that's something to work on as well. Right, and the last one I've got here from Andy. You know, they like these. The old Rolls Royces. Phantom. Phantom 5, Mechano Limited. Again, another screw base, which is what I like. You know, I've done. Don't do these now and again. For anything special or un un very unusual. Play one condition, all doors are actually all doors are there on this one. Because sometimes I get all of these, is either a door missing complete or anything else, like tires missing. Yeah, but it's a good example. Yes, yeah, so I'll have a work on that one. Yeah, and that's about it for this month. Yeah, so, um, yeah, nice little collection there, bits and pieces. So thank you, thank you very much, Andy, for your donations. Once again, very much appreciated. Yeah, I will get yours in the posts ASAP. So, so I'll get some more restoration, um, restorations, DFC challenges and banger models. Sorted out for me, get those done. So, um, yeah, until my next video, as per usual, have a good weekend, whatever you're doing, keep yourself safe. Um, yeah, please feel free to comment underneath, I do reply to your comments. Yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah, goodbye for now. Bye-bye.